Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Is it working? Come on. This Come on, honey. Come on, honey. Jeopardy. Let's work. Let's work now. Dude. This thing never fucking works. Please, come on. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm here. My hair's looking awful. It's it's great. It's great. Okay, cool. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. I'm Uncle Game Boy, and these are my games. Playing this terrible Jeopardy game like I've been doing recently. Um... There's really no excuse for this. There's really no excuse for this game being the way it is. And we've got my cat Heidi right here. She's going to help me out. So yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's just fucking do this. Let's just fucking do this already. <clears throat> Probably should have left those in my ears. I might need them later. Okay, let's play some fucking Jeopardy. Trisha and Robert, the only people I'll ever, I'll, ever, I'll ever have. The only people ever play this fucking game with me. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's welcome today's contestants. 91. That's pretty good. It's like, think about it because in the military or something with that accuracy, I would be like considered extremely deadly, like basically well, better than Bradley yeah. Cooper and American Sniper. Edge. Okay, on the cutting edge, whatever Moby that Dick. means. Moby Dick. Is that all about the Snake book? Man. Really? Okay. Math. Christ alive. Movie okay. Star Lives. Movies. Good. Three named authors. Okay. Game shows. Jesus, my hair looks fucking awful. Okay, these are pretty good categories. These are pretty good categories. Player three. It's Which never me. I don't think it's ever once been me that's picked the category first. The ominously named Peter Coffin owns the Spouter Inn in this new Massachusetts whaling port. I don't know. You are right. Sure. Sure, sure, whatever. Have yourself a cup of tea after you name the first mate in the book. It's Starbuck, right? Oh fuck me, god damn it. Ah. Fuck myself there. Well done. Yep, yep. Come on, we gotta fucking get this together. This enigmatic and reclusive captain has lost a leg and possibly his mind. Gee, I wonder I wonder if it's Captain Ahab. Correct. Ugh, jeez. Sorry. Player one. It's your turn to choose a category. I know it's very upsetting to all the people watching. This this whaling ship where the majority of Moby Dick takes place was named for a Native American tribe. Oh god, I was all I can think of is like the Beagle, but I think that's Charles Darwin's boat, right? The Pequod. The Pequod. Correct. Fuck. Man, I'm glad I didn't say something that would embarrass me. Like I've read Moby Dick before and I should do pretty good in this category, category right? That would be fucking that would be very humiliating. How much do you want to wager? <clears throat> God. Oh. Moby Dick is a ferocious albino whale. Oh, come on. Can I have gotten that one? Yes, correct. I looked this up once, but I was like, what? I, I'm just thinking, why the why on earth is it called Take that? Why is it called a clip. sperm whale? Is because it looks like a sperm? Is that is that what it is? Here's hoping that there's enough time to count all of the shades, sides, the name that's uh, Cause I'm sorry, I got kind of distracted thinking, like, does a sperm whale even look like sperm? I don't think it does. I think even the most generous interpretation of them having a similar shape, you wouldn't really, you'd really have to really go reach pretty far in your mind to make that image. make any kind of sense. It can't be that, right? It can't be that they, like, it looks just like a sperm. It just looks like a sperm cell or whatever. Well done. Heidi, what are you doing? Watch this. When expressed as a decimal, pi never repeats or terminates, so it's one of these numbers that sound like they could use a little therapy. Oh, irrational. It's irrational, right? 
I gotta get my head in the game here. Okay. I was like, I don't know. Something something about the beginning of this, I was just like, oh, whatever. I don't know. That Moby Dick category, I was expecting you to know a couple of those, and I was just like, I don't need this shit. And I'm really glad I didn't say something stupid like I've read Moby Dick before. I should know the answers to all of these questions. Take a look at this clip. It's the slope of the line seen here to calculate it. Divide the change in Y by the change in X. I don't know. The hyperbola? What is the hyperbola? What is one? It's right. a number? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were asking for a term. I didn't even know what the fuck you were asking for. It's your turn to choose a Looks category. like math. Look at the following we'll image. meet again. Don't know where, but do know this diagram using it. This is weird. This was a question on Real Jeopardy yesterday about Venn diagrams. And I was also thinking then, too, like, don't you learn about Venn diagrams in, like, Correct. fucking kindergarten or something? Like, that's that shouldn't be a Jeopardy question. Like, what is this? Player that's one. Pick a category. That should be, like, a joke question on Celebrity Jeopardy with fucking Will Ferrell. And, and that's and no, nowhere else near Jeopardy. Andrew Morton has penned unauthorized biographies of both Angela Jolie and this Mission Impossible star. Who is Tom Cruise or Thomas Mapplethorpe? That's his real last name. You are correct. Or I guess I mean not me. I think he changed his name to Tom Cruise, but he that was his original name. That was the, that was that was his original moniker. In Lucky Man, he wrote about his childhood in Canada, stardom on TV and in film, and his battle with Parkinson's. Oh, I was guessing that's Michael J. Fox. I always forget he's Canadian. He seems like one of ours. He seems like one of ours. He just has that air about him, you know. But I guess not. I guess he's one of theirs. He's one of theirs. They got a lot of good ones up there, it's been said. Bossy Pants is a look into the life of this movie and TV actor-writer. Who is Tina Fey? Exactly. Those are all lovely ladies up there. Maya Rudolph? She's getting a lot of work now that Kamala Harris is, is is in the race, huh? That's good for her. Good for her. She wrote her first memoir, Little Girl Lost, in fourteen at 14. Her follow-up, 2015's more optimistic Wildflower, was published when she was 40. I have no fucking idea. Oh, okay. She wrote a book when she was 14? That's that's very impressive. Which category would you like? He recounted the early years of his career in Born Standing Up, a comic's life. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld. I'll say Jerry Seinfeld. No, that's Fuck incorrect. me. Ah, it's probably Chris Rock. It's not Steve Martin, right? I guess he... I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. That's it. I've never really seen him do stand-up, but I know he's, like, known for that or whatever. I mostly know him as the dad and, and father of the bride. He wrote the Song of Hiawatha. Is it Nathaniel Hawthorne? Oh Christ! Uh, Long. I'll say Longfellow. You are right. Good. So I was like, the other ones are British, I think. So that doesn't. Why would they be writing about Native Player Americans? One. They have no it's business doing that. White men from America should be doing that. His pal of Emerson was known for a little civic disobedience. Oof. I do not know. Man, Patricia right. has not rung in at all. It's just me and Robert, and, and mostly Robert. He's fucking Player running away three? with this shit so far. I thought these like? categories were in my favor, but I guess not. I guess I don't fucking know fucking anything, do I? She followed up Little Women with an old-fashioned girl and Aunt Joe's scrap bag. Louisa May Elcott? Exactly. Indeed it is. Okay, we need to start getting some questions that are more, worth more than $200, okay? Encyclopedia Britannica says her 1852 novel helped solidify both pro and anti-slavery sentiment. The Harriet Beecher Stowe. That's a good book. A lot of people haven't actually read old uh, old. <laughs> they, a lot of people haven't read or know how to what the title of Uncle Tom's Cabin is. They think it's Old Tom's Cabin for some fucking reason, but. A lot of people don't even know what fucking Uncle Tom, like, like they misunderstand what that term means. This Devonshire born man rhymed about an ancient mariner. I don't know. I'll say this while they're answering it, that like, you know, Uncle Tom is like, Correct. like known, is like a term that's used for someone who's like a betrayer of their race or whatever. But like in, in Uncle Tom's Cabin, category. like Uncle Tom's a good guy. He's a nice guy. It's the show in which host Wayne Brady might offer you a thousand dollars or a curtain. He's trying to help people is what I'm saying. What? Let's make a deal or something? Or a curtain. Yes. What's that to do with curtains? I don't understand that. 
Can you win curtains on that show? I've never really, I don't, I don't recall, I, don't, I haven't watched it recently. He went from late, late to early, early winning daytime Emmys for celebrity game, name game. Oof, I don't know. Craig Ferguson, maybe? Indeed. That's a guy that people tell you is really, really funny. You know? On his, this cable channel, contestants reach out and touch and answer on idiot tests. Ooh, I have no fucking idea. You are right. Oh, I thought they were asking for a guy's name. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm too fucking stoned for this right now. I don't know. I thought I was like, I'm, I'm pretty good right now. I think I can do this. I don't, I'm not so sure now. The cable, the, sh <laughs> the show, the show that began the $10,000 pyramid with Dick Clark came back in 2016 with Michael Strahan and this rich, with this rich retired the fucking $1 million pyramid. Indeed. Come on. They didn't make it the $1 million pyramid? What the fuck is wrong with you people? That's such an attractive name. Who wouldn't want to fucking climb atop the million dollar pyramid? LeBron James is an executive producer on this series where a green ball can be worth as much as a million. What the fuck are you? Plinko? Plinko Prime? What the fuck is happening in America? I've never heard of any of this fucking crap. Well done. The wall? More like they need to build the wall because what the fuck is happening in this country I live in? I don't, I don't even fucking know anymore. It was used by the farmer's wife to cut off the tails of three blind mice. A butcher's knife? I don't, it's like, I don't know, fucking yesterday I was fucking doing fine. And I'm just like, I don't even know what you're saying right now. I don't even know what's fucking happening on this game. I, even, I don't even know what you're fucking talking about. The name of this large kitchen knife resembling a hatchet is from a word meaning to split. Cleaver. Where's a cleaver? This is the name of, of the movie that Chris, Chris Moltisanti made in The Sopranos. Well cleaver. That's why I know that. Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. This wedding knife, this wedding knife comes in a server set and is often engraved with the names of the the cake the cake the cake cutter the cake cutter the cake the cake. I didn't know there was a such thing as a cake knife. That's it. I didn't know there's a specific cake knife that has like ornamentation on it or whatever. The Gina, the Ginza. Oh my god, is Tokyo's shopping district. This similar sounding word is a knife brand seen in, in from Ginzu, right? Ginzu. And I as, as I understand it, that's a bunch of hokum. Like there's no yes, correct. Like there's there's no provenance to that name. It doesn't mean it anything. You're just like, oh, it sounds like it fucking should be, you know, something a samurai would use or something like that. But it's as far as I know, it's just like a fucking regular ass knife. And it was just like a, it's like it's like Corinthian leather. It's like a marketing technique, and there's nothing else more to exactly. that Ginzu knife shit. I think, I think, I might and probably Here's am yours. just talking out of might be and probably am just talking out of my ass. But okay, Robert's really kicking my fucking dick in right now. I gotta fucking get this together. Okay, Double Jeopardy is where I get this fucking game Let's in, take on, a look at on the Double track. Rounds on track. Yes, Pets. that's what I wanted to say. Pets. Fruit. Fruit. Who, love, who doesn't love fruit? Literary locales. Literary locales. The more you eat, the more you too, Real right? Names Real of names celebs. of celebs. Okay, I just football said uh, Thomas Mapplethorpe. Football, okay, football coaches isn't Casual too good. And sporty Casual fashion. and sporty fashion. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. The Korat doesn't lose hair easily, so cat lovers who suffer from this can get a Korat and ditch the Claritin. Allergies. What are allergies? What are allergies? What are even what even are they? Why are they and why do they happen inside the human correct. body? Player one, which category would you like? Betas and guppies are types of these animals that require a minimal amount of care. What are fish? Ooh, I got that. I almost did that too soon. I almost did that too soon. What are fish? Well done. Literary locales. Let's see. A barbecue takes place at Twelve Oaks, the Wilkes family plantation, in chapter seven of, or six of this novel. What is Gone with the Wind? Now we're getting see, see, now I'm getting together. Precisely. I was like brain addled or something in the beginning. Now I'm fucking on point. Now I'm gonna fucking secure victory. This J.D. Salinger hero reminisces about field trips to the American Museum of Natural History. Holden Caulfield. Yeah. 
You are right. That's like the only one, right? That's like the only book he wrote. Like Frankie and Zoe was the other one. I didn't see Frankie on there, so. In this George Orwell novel, the states of Oceania, Eurasia, and East Asia are at war. As far as we know, it might just be a ploy by Big Brother. Oh, fuck you, Robert. I fucking had that. It's fucking 1984. Precisely. It might just be a ploy by Big Brother. That's what I was going to say until Robert Play scooped three. my ass. It's your turn to choose a category. Fucking dickbag asshole. The Syrian or Gordon type of this isn't a good child's pet as it's nocturnal. It can be crabby and nippy by day. Crab? Who would have a crab for a pet? Uh, I'll say get hamster. You are oh, nice, right. nice, cool, cool. I was not confident in that response at all. One. Oh, man. Which category would you like? And I'm full. Fucking congested. This is a really good time to do this. Like, I'm almost asleep. I'm very congested. Let's play Jeopardy on, on, on camera. One of the oldest breeds of this earthy type of dog, the Lakeland, comes in handy. I... Too busy bitching about my fucking congestion. Well done. To finish reading the question. Player three? Ugh. It's your Ugh. turn to choose oh. a category. After cuddling your common box type of this reptile, wash your hands to prevent sound. That's very that's very good advice. A lot of people don't know that, that lizards and reptiles are just fucking nasty ass animals that will give you Indeed. salmonella if you aren't very hygienic around them. Player one, pick a category. There are multiple mentions of Ikea wardrobes in the best seller man called Ova said this country. Oh, my mom would know that she's seen that movie. Oh, God. Switzerland. Sweden. Well done. They often get, they often get mixed up. Player two. Which category would you like? Oh, <laughs> The Handmaid's Tale is set in this fictional republic that shares its name with the biblical area known for its balm. I've read that book, so I feel like I can figure this out if I get in there. Gilead, that's what it was, yeah. That's it. People are like, yeah, 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 you fucking saw the TV show. I One, no, I didn't see the fucking TV show. So, so I'll fucking go in the attic and get the fucking book right now if you doubt me. But first there'd be someone having to watch this and say, like, you didn't read that book. And then I would do it. Then I would do it. But, you know. This citrus comes in yellowish key and greener Persian types. Lemon? No, lime. That's I'm right. from, I'm well, not from Florida. I would never say I'm from Florida, but I live in Florida and I should know Three. that. The key lime is a very precious like? commodity here. The ancient hybrid, this ancient hybrid is an important economic product of Florida and California. What? Oh, fruit's a category. I still don't know. Correct. Oh, I guess I could have guessed that. I don't know. Hybrid. Thinking of a car. This melon has a smooth white rind and sweet green flesh. What does a honey do? Yes. I'm going to try to get through three games of this, even though I'm already Please feeling very category. zapped for some reason. Thought of as a vegetable, this flowering plant is the nightshade family. Solanum lipper percussion is fine, scientifically a fruit tomato. Precisely. That's one of those things. That's one of those things that, like, you used to be able to say, like, oh, that's like a banal thing for people to say as a fact. And it kind of, like, you know, speaks to a sort of paucity of intellect a little bit. Now, pointing that out has the same effect. It's funny how things work. Observe the following image. The name of the fruit seen here is derived from this Mor Moroccan port city. That looks like an orange to me. Is the city of orange again? Is the answer orange again? Why would they do that? Why would they have two answers that are orange? Ah, a tangerine. Player three, pick a category. I bet there's a time where it's like, you know, or for a lot of people, maybe even today, or it's like fucking, oh, you're talking about eating tangerines and they're, they're, they're like horrified by your what you're saying because fucking it sounds like you're eating people. You've been eating tangerines. What are you, fucking one of the bad giants from the BFG? No, I'm talking about eating a delicious citrus fruit. What are you talking about? Tangerines are people from Tangier. No, they're also they're also delicious citrus fruit, as I just said. She changed her name because she thought it sounded too similar to Kate Hudson. I've heard this before. I don't know. It's Kate Upton. That doesn't sound like a real name at all. No, sorry. Fuck. Fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Upton, that I... 
thought you had changed your name to hide your identity. Precisely. Player oh, three. Geez. Which category would you like? This pop star's middle name at birth was Kenneth. When he changed his name, he chose the middle name Hercules. That's kind of an arrogant thing to do, isn't it? Correct. Player two. Well, he is sort of a flamboyant character, isn't he? Category. It's a daily double. How much money are you wagering? This actor who played Queen Amidala in Star Wars prequels was born with the last name Herschlog. That's what's her name? Natalie Portman. You are right. She was born Stephanie Joan Angela Germanata, but it was under this name that she achieved the fame. What? Gwen Stefani? Oh, okay. That's oh, right. okay. I don't know. Is the fame... I, I, I don't know. Players I don't know anything. I fucking don't know anything, okay? I intended to do this by showing my knowledge and, and, you know, convincing people of my overwhelming intellect and I'm just being proven the greatest fool ever right now because I fucking... I, 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 don't, I don't know any of these things. Precisely. I don't know what the fame is referring to. I can't even name one football coach. Player Heisman? Two. Is that one? It's your turn to choose a category. Fashion. This company's main hunting show was born when the owner had leather uppers stitched to rubber. What? What? Uh, hunting shoe? That's it. I thought they were talking about Uggs. I was going to say Uggs. I had no fucking idea what they were talking about. Player three. Which category would you like? Yeah, this is a bummer, man. I just feel like a dumbass. Dabo Swinney coached this team to 14 wins in 2016 season, including the national championship in January 2017. God, do I need to take a nap? Fuck. That's correct. Clemson? Who the fuck is Clemson? Two. It's your turn to choose a category. This brand, founded by Jacob Golom, is known for its boxing gloves, but it makes men's women's apparel from head to toe. Oh man, I'm just like, I'm just, I want to go to bed. These questions are fucking making me sad and tired, okay? Everlast. I thought they made freaking, I thought there was a guy who, any man in my world is like, is like, any man in my know what it's like, is like, any man in my know what it's like, seeing the blues. Isn't that Everlast? I thought that was Everlast. You're telling me it's a glove now. I don't even fuck. I don't know. Up is down. Left is right. You know. You the sky correct. is the ground. The sky is the ground. I don't know what the fuck is happening anymore. Player two. It's your turn this fucking to choose sucks. A this this sucks. Double. And my hair looks so bad. It looks like worse even than normal. What is happening? What is happening to me right now? What? Tessa turn? Yes. Bill Bellingchenk? This shoe brand owned by Nike makes Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Converse, right? Look at my fucking glasses, okay? That's I know what it. fucking Converse are, alright? Player one, which category would you like? This brand of mountaineering apparel and equipment is named for the coldest, most unforgiving side of a mountain north face. Is that it? Is that one of those clothing brands that's been sort of like associated with bad politics? Well I feel like it is. I don't know. This clothing company is named for a region in southern Argentina and Chile. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Patagonia. Last clue. It's the nickname of Glenn Warner, who coached such All Americans as Jim Thorpe and Ernie Nevers. Yes. Shit feels like it's written in cuneiform. I have no fucking idea what's happening. I, I just have to hope Everyone the next game is better. This fucking. Jeopardy. This was upsetting, this is depressing. 
This is basically the worst thing that's ever happened in my entire life. And I hope I hope How it gets better. To wager? I have to bet the whole nut. What other fucking chance do I have? The Animal Kingdom. Okay. I, that's Califox Amon is a species of this. A male wing beat rate is about 80%. I'm a I'm guessing a hummingbird. A bat ain't gonna flap that much. Bat ain't bat don't flap like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a gimme. You are right. Robert you won. He, he at least bet six thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. Here are the final placements. Okay, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Even the mighty are brought low on occasion, but it will not always be in that way, place. okay? And I think that the second game is gonna go way, 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 way better. You have unlocked a new master rank. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, you have that belt's almost turned into vomit. Rank. But I'm good. You have unlocked a new master rank. Never says that it weirds me out because it sounds like she's it sounds like she's about to say master race. I'm like, what the what? Introducing our contestants. God, I wish I could just play against somebody else. Like, even if it doesn't matter, like if it just if they could maybe have something other than just a fucking anonymous silhouette. You know, world of colors. World of colors. Clue we rooms. do live in a world of colors, don't we? Clue rooms. Native American history. Okay, I was like, so far these categories don't fucking albums. mean anything to me. Museums. Okay. Well. National Inventors Hall of Fame. That's a that's a museum or something, right? Can I go first for once? Player three. No, it's Please always Robert. A category. It's always Robert. La ra world. Uh, yeah, orange. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna redeem myself now. To choose a category. Red. That's easy. In Span oh, I gotta read the question right. In Spanish, ro rojo. What is red? Well done. <laughs> In Dutch, Bruin. I'm guessing brown because it's basically already halfway there anyway. It wouldn't be yellow, right? It wouldn't be fucking yes, yellow. That'd be correct. insane. If Bruin was yellow, that'd be fucking nuts. That'd be like the craziest fuck. That'd be the craziest thing I've heard since a watermelon's a gourd. It's a daily dump. Yes, yes. Fortune smiles this day. How much would you like to wager? I'm gonna bet fucking. I'm gonna bet a thousand dollars. Schwarz. That's in German. Schwarz. That's black. I know that. That's right. I know that, okay? I know that. In Italian, giallo. Hmm. Is that yellow? Is that yellow? Maybe? That's correct. Okay, okay. You speak Italian a little bit. I know how to say Which yellow. Category would you like? Jumping Bull was the father of this more sedentary Native American chief. <laughs> Ooh, sleeping bull. Ooh, sleepy. No, I know the Precisely. answer. Now, things Player are going one. great now. Please select a category. Squanto is known for teaching the pilgrims how to plant this crop, also known as maize. What is corn? God, these are... That's it. I'm not proud of any of the ones I'm getting right. It's just like the most basic, like, first grade questions. Corn or maize. In 1492, this man landed on the island of San Salvador and came in contact with the Native Americans called Arawaks. I believe they basically asked this exact same question, just with all the terminology just rearranged differently in a previous game. I think I think I'm coming up on the the end of the questions in this game, and I was gonna fucking play. I was gonna see if I can play some old Super Nintendo ones or something on my browser. I was thinking that might be cool. 
But I'm gonna maybe have to find other Jeopardy games soon because this fucking I think I'm almost out of questions here, even though I've only played it for like you know, probably a total of ten hours altogether. It's your turn to choose a category. The five civilized tribes were the Cherokee, Creek, Choctaw, Chickasaw, and this group that moved from Georgia to Florida. Ah, I think I know the answer. I think it's a Seminole tribe. Yeah, it certainly isn't those other ones. They're not in Florida. Player one, please select a category. You want to gamble in this fucking town, you got to go through them, all right? The Shrine of the Book, which houses the Dead Sea Scrolls, is a wing of this country's national museum. I'm assuming Israel. I'm assuming Israel. Well done. No, it's in freaking India. What? They should make the other options a little more reasonable sometimes. Sometimes they're just really not even... They just really single out the right quest an answer and stupid. The Peabody Museum of Archaeology and Ethnology is in the Cambridge, Massachusetts. Oh, uh, MIT. Or, no, 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 no. No. Precisely. No. I, I was, I wasn't, th I was thinking entirely Play wrongly three. about that. It's your turn to choose a category. 2006. It's about time. The debut of these brothers didn't do so well, but thanks to the Disney Channel, their second album was huge. The Jonas Brothers. The Lawrence Brothers. Did they have a band? You are That'd correct. be funny. Player one, please select a category. This group's license to ill was the first hip hop album to hit number one. Is it the Beastie Boys? That's kind of exactly. depressing to me. Like, I, I mean, I one, I don't really like the Beastie Boys that much. I know that that's like. You know, a Philistine's opinion, apparently, but fucking, I, I just don't. I've tried. I just don't like their music very much. But, like, the first one to ever do that, to be a bunch of white guys, seems kind of, I don't know, just, I don't, I don't, I don't who, does, does anyone feel good about that? The 2014 album, uh, with, yes, I wouldn't have known correct. that anyway. I don't know anything about that guy. Player three, pick a category. And don't don't get it twisted. I'm not saying anything bigoted here, but it's just like something about his vibe just rubs me the wrong way. I'm just like, I just I just don't like you. And that's okay. It's okay, all right? It doesn't make me a hateful person just to not like somebody, okay? Well, There's God. certain reasons that would make me a hateful person, but those have nothing I don't have the I've not expressed those, I don't feel those things, okay? It's just like when I hear it like I heard a commercial for his podcast or something, the pink house or something. I'm just like I just don't like your voice. I don't like I don't like I don't like your face. You know, it's nothing to do with your fucking exactly. personal choices in your life. Okay, I just don't like your voice. And I don't like your face. That's Player okay. Two. It's your turn to choose a category. We shouldn't. Look we shouldn't. You know, it's okay. It's okay image. to dislike people. All right. It's the reasons that we should be concerned about. But but hatred is fine. Hatred is totally fine. Necessary even. You are correct. How else would we even know what we think is good unless we fucking had things that we found distasteful? Sam Smith just happens to be one of those things for me. Why don't you get off my fucking ass about it, all right? Jesus. What ha what's happening here with razors? That's it. King Gillette. There was a King Gillette. I, wow, you missed a little. You missed, I was just fucking going off for a second. Now there's a fucking King Gillette that they were talking about. What the fuck? He became an inductee for his noise reduction systems that revolutionized the audio industry. Bose, Mr. Bose, who's Amar Bose? I, know, I would have never. I would have never. Oh shit! I fucking just pressed a button. That's I'm not fucking we stupid. It's not Moog. Moog makes synthesizer. I know that. Again, glasses. You know. That's My hipster right. bona fides are all there. All right, they're all there. He became an inductee for his ice rink resurfacing machine. Mr. Zamboni. I'm not going to fucking hit the... God damn it. See, that's that's sort of... It's... it's. I, now I'm realizing why I'm yes. doing that. Because you have to press the fucking X button so freaking quickly. If you were not... Like, Player two. Which you have like lightning right? speed on this shit. Robert will scoop you. All right? So I'm fucking like triggered to fucking just hit that as, as quick as I can. And then when the next one comes up, I'm just fucking trying to go for the X button again. Now that I know what's tripping me up, I think I can... Stop myself from doing it. 
That's it. Books going to library. Oh my god, I can't believe I wasn't paying attention. And that was the question. Yeah, books going to library. I guess I'm a Jeopardy Pick champion now. The fuck. He was inducted for improvements in the condensing of milk. Pasteur, who is Louis, Louis Pasteur? I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, didn't. I was like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> he pasteurized milk. That's why it's called pasteurization. You are correct. No, okay, Archie, you be good. My other cat, one of my other cats, came here. He's a real troublemaker. Is, this inventor was inducted for his revolver with interchangeable parts. Mr. Wesson. <laughs> you are right. Look oh, jeez. Following image. That's correct. Player two, which category would you like? Observe the following image. Oh, oh. The set scene here would be in the set. This would be set in this dining room. What is the dining room? The breakfast nook? There's no breakfast That's nook it. in a clue board, motherfucker. Player one. It's I haven't played Clue in like fucking like 25 Look years, so maybe maybe image. there is now. Professor Plum and Miss Scarlet might engage in this this activity seen in this room, the ballroom. Correct. It's funny that Clue rooms is like literally from the game Clue. It's weird. The house in this Dutch city where Anne Frank and her family hid during World War II has been a museum's... The Anne Frank house? I don't know what else it would be known by. The Frank residence. Amsterdam. Indeed. Oh, the city. God, I fucking hate how they word these questions. I thought they were asking for the name Wait, of the I house. It's like Anne Frank... I don't know if this is Anne category. Frank's house. The Tate Gallery and the Tate Modern are in this city, London. Right? Oh, God damn it. Fuck you. You fucking asshole. Fuck. Oh, Patricia. Benefiting yes. from my folly, it makes me so fucking mad. Here's the last clue. New York City has many museums like Columbus Circles Mad, the Museum of Arts in this. The Met? The Met Gallery? Wait, what? Uh, I thought they were asking for a museum, like the name of a museum. The okay, I, somehow I fucking got through that. I didn't even know what they were. At I was the like, they, they the prison mail the answers. I'm like, I don't even know what the, what the, how do fucking any of those relate to the question you asked, motherfucker? Jesus. For the double jeopardy round, the categories are. I'm so hot. <laughs> Award winner. Okay, all right, take it easy. Classical music. Oh, jeez, this is these is, these are not good. The same. Okay. Complete the book title. The city's most read newspaper. Great newspapers and classical music. This should go great. Walter Isaacson, Steve Jobs, maybe. That's correct. Cool. That's weird that that's a like complete the book title. Like that's a guy's name, and I know it's like the title of the book, but it's like it's just weird. Paula Hawkins, the girl on the milk milk carton. You girl on the correct. train. Okay. If you insist, if you say so. Player three, which category would you like? At the 2016 Country Music Association Awards, this American Idol winner took Female Vocalist of the Year for the fourth time. Yes. At the 2017 Grammys, this Ziggy Stardust art artist won five posthumous awards for the album Black Star. Who is David Bowie? Precisely. 
Who is David Bowie? Did any of us truly ever know? He was such a mysterious, enigmatic figure, wasn't he? This Ontario-born singer wasn't sorry for winning Favorite Male Artist at 2016 American Music Awards. Well done. Player two, which category would you like? That's right. One second. <laughs> Rogue One. I don't think he wrote a Star Wars book. I don't think that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's it's like correct. as soon as I said that, I'm like, no, I don't think he wrote that Star Wars movie. Player three, pick a category. They finished third on the X Factor, but came in first at the People's Choice Awards, winning favorite group in 2017. Hey, what's up, Bubba? Okay, baby. Hey, D. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, right. Exactly. Who are fifth for harmony? Fifth harmony. I have no, I, I have no fucking Player idea. Two. Please select a category. JD Vance, hillbilly elegy. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, this was before he was fucking vice president. Isn't that funny? Back then, he was just a book author. Correct. I think. I don't know. Maybe he was, maybe he was vice president for all I fucking know. Based, based off of how well I'm doing in this, I think I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure I know that. That he, for sure, that he wasn't the vice president. For her 2016 video of the year trophy formation was... That's correct. Player two, please select a category. Original Moonwalker Neil and Biker Lance. Oh, Armstrong. I was like, what are you saying? I couldn't even understand. There's, I had to look at the category. I was like, correct. oh, okay, right, right. Player one. It's your turn to choose a category. Former Defense Secretary Robert M. and Microsoft's Bill Gates. What the fuck? I fucking had that, Robert. That's it. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm still, I'm still in this fucking Pick game though. Category. Not licked yet. Civil rights leader Jesse and NBA coaching legend Phil. I have no idea. What you doing, Bubba? What you doing, baby? You are correct. Oh yeah, Jesse Jackson. I've heard of him in his Rainbow Coalition. Oracular Omaha resident Warren and Cheeseburger and Paradise singer Jimmy Buffett. Well done. And I'm not, not going to say this too loud because I'm in Florida, and if anyone hears me, they'll cut my head off, it's but I don't like Jimmy Buffett very much either. South Carolina Senator Lindsay and quarterback Otto Graham. I don't know Otto, but I do know Lindsay. Mr. Graham. Indeed. Who is Mr. Graham? Uh, 
Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Whatever. What is this even? I'm so hot. There's a yearly festival for this piquant chicken dish in the western New York City that gave the dish its name. Chicken Cacciatore. Well done. Player two. Pick a category. Oddly, the traditional order from this Gustav Holst suite places Mars first. Oh, the planets. I was like, what the fuck? I'm talking about a hotel suite. So it's like, right, it's classical music. You are correct. Player one, please select a category. Might as well. In 1722, this German composed the well-tempered clavier Wagner. It's the only fucking German composer I know. Okay, okay, so it's not one of those. Bach, is it Batch? You are right. Yes, it's Batch. Nice. Let's go back to hot things. This language, Fra Diavolo, means brother devil. They'll know why when you eat it. Huh? What are you asking me? I, I don't even know what you're asking me right now. That's it. I thought you were asking me to... I literally... The best I could come up with is I thought they were asking me to name a pepper. I thought they were talking about naming a pepper. I was saying, no, name a language. I was like, oh, wow, wow. I was really off the mark there. The Los Angeles, Los Angeles Times? The Los Angeles Times? The Times. Precisely. Player two, please select a category. You got me by the fuck. I, 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 there's nothing I can. It's seven. He wrote a polonaise or polonaise. Was, what? Later, this Tchaikovs. I'll say Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky. Okay. Okay. Uh, a Warsaw for Chopin because he's from Poland. Yeah, I know that. Well done. Okay. That's like the one of the only. The, Chopin's one of the only people I know anything about with classical music. I know Player he's from one. Poland. He's like it's he's like one of my favorites. So it's like category. probably not my favorite because I don't know anything about any of the other Daily ones. Daily double. Oh, great. Cool. Awesome. How much money are you wagering? Okay, well, I'm I'll wager 2000 cuz I don't I'm not I don't know dick about this, but I do want to make it worth something. Originally this 1928 Gershwin orchestral composition includes real French taxi. I know this. I don't no 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 don't say anything cool. Oh fuck. Uh it's Porgy Porgy and Bess. I was going to say uh Rhapsody Wrong. in Blue. Okay, so it's That's not correct. What is it then? Okay, I'm only familiar with an American Werewolf in London. I don't know what that is. An American Werewolf in Paris. I should have said that. That that would have been better. That would have been better. It's funnier because it's... One, Paris is it's there. And t oh, Jesus. Jesus, man. How much do you want to wager? <laughs> if this was happening in real Jeopardy, this would be fucking fucked up. <laughs> like, this would be extremely fucked up. Because I'm probably going to get this wrong, too. This would be, like, one of the most embarrassing things you could happen in Jeopardy. The name of this salsa means Beak of the Rooster. What the fuck are you talking about? Pico de guy. That sounds like it could be that. Okay. Yes. Jesus, man. That was close. Because I was going to say, the, the, the biggest, the biggest, you know, the, 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 the most significant shame one can experience in Jeopardy is being forbidden from playing Final Jeopardy because you're in the red by the end of Double Jeopardy. But pretty close is getting two fucking double jeopardies in a row and getting them both wrong. And I have seen that happen before. And I'm very fortunate that that didn't happen to me. And I'm still living and talking to you people because I'm not so sure that's what, how it would have gone if that had happened to me. I don't, I don't think, I, I think, I just think I'd have to end it all. I don't think I'd have any other choice. This Chinese region has a spicy red because of its use of the native Fagara peppercorn. Szechuan. Robert? Robert. Are you the are you Precisely. fucking Barry Watson? Is that was that one of the flats flashes? Flashes? Is that one of the flash flash eye? Flashes flash eye? Is that one of the flashes flash eye? I think so. Are you Barry Watson? Are you the freaking flash? What the fuck, man? I'm hitting the button as quick as I can as soon as I'm allowed to. That's correct. And I don't got to tell you that I spend a significant part of my day and my life even pressing buttons in time. Pressing buttons quickly. If I can't do this good, I can't fucking do anything, okay? So Robert, please, for my sake, for your boy, just 
ease up on that a bit, okay? Because you're making me feel real, real bad about the, like, one fucking thing I feel kind of okay about, all right? Just... I want to live, okay? I'm choosing life. Help me choose life, please. What's going on in Boston? What's up, baby? You want to go outside? One second. You are right. Yeah. He's over here winning $2,000. I'm freaking trying to deal with a freaking cat who's getting, you know, on my last nerve. Open door, close the door. You know, why don't you freaking figure out how to open the fucking door and close the door if you want to be doing that so bad, okay? Why don't you handle your own business and I'll handle my own business, all right? Though it bears the name of a state in Mexico, this pepper sauce is invented in Louisiana. What is Tabasco? What is Tabasco sauce? Ugh. That's right. Hmm. <sighs> Coke is supposed to help your Everyone stomach, made right? It to Final Jeopardy. How much would you like to wager? Oh man. Stars in the sky. Oh shit. Um oh. Ooh, what do I do here? This it's close. Ooh, it's this is hard to do. Okay. Six thousand dollars. The name of Mitanka, a star in this constellation, is from the Arabic for belt. Oh, I know this. I know this. It's Orion. I mean not that, not that, I mean, not to be like a fucking nasty guy, but I got a fucking tattoo of Orion's belt right here. Right here. If I freaking didn't get that right, I'd fucking have to cut my own freaking skin off. Of course I fucking know the answer to that. That's correct. Oh. Am I the victor? Are you fucking kidding? Okay, I thought, he, I thought he beat me by a dollar. Exactly. I was about to jump out the window like the fucking cowardly lion. Holy shit. Oh my god. Placements. Oh my god. That would have been upsetting. I don't even know how I would have handled that. I don't even know. And I'm glad I don't have to find out. I'm very glad I don't have to find Our out. Champion today is. Hopefully some of these categories I've unlocked are not fucking garbage and crap. Because I'm rank. fucking... I mean, I won one game, so I guess it's cool, but... You have unlocked a new master rank. Let's play one more time. Let's welcome today's contestants. Yes, let's welcome today's contestants and every day's contestants. The only contestants we'll let's ever have. Jeopardy. Me, Patricia, and Robert. 2016 TV debuts. 2016 the TV debuts. The Bible. Touring New York City. Touring New York City. Mountain plus river, Mountain plus river equals, equals state U.S. state. On the bookshelf. On the bookshelf. Sports talk. Sports talk. Okay. Mediocre at best. Oh, wow. Well, at least I get to start for once. I'm going to start. I'm going to start in the light of God. In the New Testament, Zacchaeus climbs a tree to get a better view of this man. Jesus? Who is Jesus? I mean, who else would you want? I mean, who wants to get a better look at Matthew and Timothy? They're not, they're not, so, they're not so great shakes, but Jesus. I get a gander at Jesus. Gander, the man from Galilee. In the Old Testament, they brought him and cast him into the den of lions. Daniel. Who is Daniel? Who is Daniel? Precisely. I got this shit in the bag. Ooh, I got fucking mucus in my nose. Luke twenty-two three says Satan entered in, into this apostle. He went inside him. Indeed. Okay, that makes. I guess if Satan's gonna go inside anybody, it would be that guy. Player I was like, because I was thinking, it was like he went inside him, then he was okay after that. Like, no, he wasn't okay. Judas was not okay after that. Okay, Judas's story ends very badly. Legs itchy. Yes. Correct. What is white? Is it color? Or is it the absence of color? Who can say? Who Which can even freaking say? Like? 
Joey, Uncle Jesse, and the Tanners all returned for this Netflix series that rebooted a family night family favorite yeah and everybody loved it right we're all, we we're all very happy about that fuller oh i was like i thought i was like but it's called full house i thought Welcome. they were tr trying to fuck me up by like having fuller house and full house on there that would have been a canny move i should have known better that they never even have a category. have that kind of stratagem in mind ever mandy moore plays both a 30 something and 60 something version of mother rebecca pearson on this a a nbc show oh it's probably that this is us show right you are Ooh, Mandy Moore. She's she's a Player very two. pretty, and she seems like a very category. nice, normal person. She seems like a cool lady. And she's she seems like a she seems like she's like a really wonderful woman. She seems like a really wonderful woman, Mandy Moore. She sure does. Exactly. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Mandy, Which Mandy, you gotta get out of my head. I gotta get back into the Jeopardy now. Come on. Come on, get back in the game. You know, on Stranger Things, she plays a mother who buys a lot of Christmas lights to reach her. Oh, no. <laughs> You're fuck you can't fuck me with a fucking out of the frying pan in the fire. Winona Ryder. Oh, my God. Oh, my right. God. Holy hell. Winona Ryder. Holy, holy hell. Ah. Wow. Oh. Category. That's a pretty lady. That's a very pretty lady. That's basically the prettiest lady I've ever dang seen. Oh my god, what the fuck are we doing? Right, Times a uh, uh, fucking. They get to pick the cat. Oh, you should just pick whatever we fucking selected. They get to pick it if I fucking fall asleep because I'm fucking dazed with the visions of Winona Ryder floating through my fucking head. That's not fair. You can't fucking bring up Winona Ryder and then just ask me to fucking select That's the question right. right after that. That's fucked up. That's extremely fucked up to do to me, okay? Player three, it's your turn to choose. I can't. A I, it's just. It's just. It's just. It's the most unfair thing that has ever happened to me. And and to anybody, I would imagine. Yes. Player two. Which category I'm, I'm would sorry. you like? Sorry, I gotta okay, okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Correct. I've watched so many fucking terrible movies just because they had Winona Ryder in them. You ever seen fucking Autumn in New York? No, of course you haven't, but I have. I've seen it like three fucking times, okay? I was just trying to mentally project myself into Richard Gere the entire time. I was just like, if I just concentrate hard enough, I'll just become Richard Gere in this movie. And I and I, I really thought that I could, you know, I believed in mind over matter. I believed in the power of... of, of of positive thinking and hopeful thinking, you know? As you can see, it didn't work out yes. that well, okay? I didn't turn into Richard Gere in Autumn in New York, all right? And now I'm fucking handing this game to Robert and Patricia because I'm, I'm just... I'm just beside myself thinking about Winona Ryder and all and all, and all the all the times I've thought about Winona Ryder in the past, you know? A lifetime of thinking about Winona right. Ryder. Jesus, man. I can't get it to get get it together or pause the game. Okay, <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. That's it. I just think well, they had Edward Scissorhands in Fortnite, and you know they freaking they didn't have Winona well, Ryder. Right you know she, she doesn't. I don't. I don't. I, mean, I, I prefer with, with, her, with her with her natural darker hair, but she still is very pretty with that in that blonde wig in that movie, and and her boyfriend. You know, I I think I think it would, she would have been much happier with a nicer guy than than than. than then what is that yes, guy's name? Correct. He's in fucking Breakfast Club. Player two. I think. Which category would you anyway. like? Anyway. Look at the following image. That's New York City. That's New York City, though it's partially Manhattan. The bridge series name for this borough. Book 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 and bridge book and bridge. No. Exactly. We could have had it all, Winona. We could have had it all. But, you know, you're happy in your place, and I'm very happy where I am, too. I'll have you know. Very happy with my life. That's correct. Look at the following image. 
You might think to yourself, well, you know, it was very sad what happened to Richard Gere in that movie. You know, he fell in love with that girl, and then he, and then she died from that terrible disease that she had. Like, sure, of course, but, That's but to right. even spend any time with Winona Ryder would have been worth a million lifetimes of the most unbearable pain you can ever experience, okay? I would go through that tragedy for a million, million years in my heart to spend one second with Winona Ryder, okay? I'd lose a game of Jeopardy. I'd piss a gay, a, gay, a game of Jeopardy that I definitely had in the bag. Just thinking about Winona Ryder the entire time. Okay, okay, I think that's enough. That's enough. Now I can expel this ghost from my mind and focus on the game that I'm so concerned with winning. The treat scene here would be appropriate for the big red animal created by author Norman Bridewell, who is Clifford. <laughs> Jeffrey <laughs> yes, correct. Jeffrey the big red dog doesn't have the same ring Player to one. it which category would you like Shel Silverstein's poems and drawings are collection collected in where this ends the sidewalk that's a wonderful book there's a lot of funny cute poems in them I enjoyed it very much as a kid and the artwork as well but it's funny when you look at the back of the, I remember when you looked at the back of that book and we saw Shel Silverstein we're like ah like a fucking like me and my friend thought it was a like is this like a joke or something we didn't understand it because it was like a, we couldn't conceive it that was like oh I gotta fucking pick it because they they'll pick it for me Shel Silverstein is just he's just a fucking you know I don't know he's just like a kind of intense bald bearded man and just sort of not 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 the not the visage you would imagine you would like produce this very whimsical children's stuff but you know Player like three. who's to say who's it's to say where ideas come from and what sort of people they should come from and whether or not those people are terrifying to look at when you're a, chi a kid and their big fucking face is just on the back of the book and you're just looking at like fun cartoons until they're just like this crazy bearded guy who looks like he's gonna bite your nose That's off right. or something on the back player two which category would you like In New Moon, the second book in the Twilight Saga, Jacob Black becomes one of these new, these enemy of the vampires. That's Wait, it. he becomes one? I thought he always was a werewolf. Player three, pick a category. That's fucked up if his family let him become a werewolf. I'd be like, you should, you gotta go to school, buddy. You can't be hanging out around here fucking eating rabbits or whatever we do. That's right. Fighting, fighting the vampire wars. You, you could become a lawyer. Please select a category. You could do something Watch no one this. in this family's ever achieved before. In bowling, try to get your ball in this area between the one and two, or the one and three pin to get a strike. Oh, jeez. That's correct. This fucking game is making me sick. See, this German term means to ski straight down a slope at full speed. Ski race. What is a ski race? Shoes? Exactly. Shoes is what you put on your feet. You don't. It's not for skiing, all right? Here's what you put the, the feet. Clue. The things you put on your feet for skiing are called skis, not shoes. Shoes are something else. It's a race in which four winners on a team are required to do a different stroke. Variety, variety pack. What's the variety pack race? That's it. Vegetable medley? Sure. Here are the scores. I'm so fucking done with this. Three games of Jeopardy just makes me want to fucking crawl into the earth and go to sleep like a bear for eight months. Let's eight months. I don't think it's Jeopardy quite that long. Categories. That's too long. Snow. Even for... Oh, there's double Jeopardy? Fuck, I thought we were fucking field. done. Shit. Whatever. Yeah. Company name origins. You give me the God, blue. This is how you know this game fucking sucks. Because, like, it's places. Jeopardy. I love Jeopardy. Women I could sports. easily watch, like, several episodes of Jeopardy in a row, have fun with my family or whatever. Like, this shit makes me once just want to go to bed. Comp whatever. Company Origins. I feel like they've had, like, three categories like this. Benjamin Holt created a tractor that an onlooker said crawled like this worm-like larva. A grub? 
caterpillar. Yes, right. Correct. I don't care why someone came up with that. I don't care. It's beneath me to Pick know something category. like that. In 2008, she ramped up to become the first woman to win an Indy car race, the Indy Japan 3. I'm guessing Danica Patrick, because it's the only female race car driver anyone's ever heard of. Fun fact, that, that exactly. I don't think this was true when this game came out, but that lady's fucking bonkers. Like, she's like a fucking lizard Player person one. lady now. Like? She's like going on fucking radio shows talking about how the, you know, Joe Biden is a lizard and, and Jill Biden is a lizard. Misty May, trainer, and Carrie Walsh, won the USA's first gold in women's beach volleyball at the 2004 Olympics in this city. That's right. They never get any wrong. They should get them wrong on occasion, even on a hard mode. They shouldn't always get it right. This capital in the Valley of Nepal is at an altitude of about 4,000 feet. Uh, Lhasa? Isn't that... Oh, okay. I thought it was... I'm just, Kuala Lumpur, I guess. I thought it was Lhasa. That's not what we were going for. I didn't think it was. I thought it was Lhasa, but Lhasa's not a fucking option on there, so what the fuck are you even fucking talking about? Well done. You made that up. That's not even fucking true what you said. That's not even that's not even a real thing. It's a daily double. You're making me sick. You're making me sick. You're making me have to blow my nose and making me sick. Correct. The only South American countries with both an Atlantic and Pacific coast are Chile and this nation. Brazil. That's correct. Of course it's right. How would you, you, you never get anything wrong. A national monument in Cork, the second city of this country, honors the rebellion of 17... That's Ireland, right? Fuck. Fuck, you fucking asshole idiot. You hit the button too quickly. Exactly. Ah. That was too far. That was too... I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck I was fucking doing, right? Now, you try to play it up or whatever, but, like, I'm sorry. That was embarrassing. That was fucking stupid. Biting the control? Yeah, That's kind of... Player three? I'm it's sorry. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, really, I'm really deeply ashamed of myself for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit back and just think about everything after this for a while. And then I'm going to play Metaphor Fantasio because I don't, I don't yes. want to think about that for too long. But I think it, I think it bears a little Player bit two. of mulling over. Just Pick a category. What 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 are we doing? What are we doing, man? It's a myth that this group has hundreds of words for snow. Those that they do have include Pukak and Matsuruti, the Inuit. Yeah, I was like, I know this is a little bit older, but they're not gonna be calling them Eskimos, right? I feel like there's some Jeopardy games where they might be calling them Eskimos. Player one, which category would you like? On newspaper weather maps, the abbreviation SF stands for this condition. Sunny funny. Snow flurries? Right. <laughs> Where I'm at, we don't have to worry about that kind Player of crap, two. okay? It's your turn to choose a category. Observe the following That's like image. one of one of the only I'm, I, I, I hesitate to say anything about living in Florida is good, but it is one of the Benefit doesn't seem like the right word. I don't know. Positive aspect? No, that's going too far. What would you even call it? Daily double. How much would you like to wager? Absences of frustration, I'll say. It's one of the absences of frustrations that you get to experience due to living in Florida. I don't want to call it a benefit or a positive aspect because... It bears, it bears yes, saying that correct. there are no such things in this state at all. There are no good things. There are no benefits to living in Florida. But there are some things that you don't have to deal with as a result of being there that you do have to deal with in some other places like snow flurries. 
I would have never in a thousand years been able to come up with a snow flurry because I haven't had to deal with a snow flurry in a very long time, I'll have you know. But to say that I benefit from that as a result of being in Florida just feels like a bridge too far. I feel like I've belabored the point by now. Before scoring that winning goal on the 1999 Women's World Cup, she played a soccer. She played a soccer for a Japanese team. I don't know. Mia Hamm, the only soccer player ever. Precisely. That was a woman. I mean, I mean, I, I can't even name one. No, no, uh, fucking Messi, Mr. Messi, the Messi boy. He's a soccer player. When I was in the hospital, they strapped me to a bed, they put a bit in my mouth, and they forced me to watch news stories about Messi for a month and a half. It was crazy. Please select a category. I was so damn sick of hearing about that guy by the time I got out of there. You are right. In 2009, this country's Usain Bolt set a world record of 9.56 seconds. <laughs> My leg's itchy, man. I don't fucking... I can't be, I can't be reading all these numbers, yes. all right? There's too many figures in these two. That's one thing I've noticed is there's not so Wait, many two. figures in Category. Jeopardy questions, typically. And there's a lot of, like, this thing, but a point to this, six and a half of that. It's like, what the... Give me real these damn numbers, man. It just like seems like you're putting a bunch of fucking information in this question, That's like correct. unnecessary ancillary information to sort of distract from what I'm supposed to even Play be trying three. to figure out. It's your turn to choose a category. In this event, though athletes regularly clear nearly 20 feet, they mainly use their running momentum. A hot long jump? Fuck me. Oh my god. Wow. That's it. I was just on one about fucking Winona Ryder and then Player Patricia three. got $30,000. Holy shit. When the fuck did that happen? Blues Traveler. I thought I was... I mean... That's correct. Who could have seen Winona Ryder coming? I mean, I wish I could have. I would love to... I'd love to see her coming forever. Like, I mean, like, coming towards me. Not not in that nasty way, okay? Fucking shut the fuck up. But I, you know, who could have seen that? Who could have seen that on the horizon? I thought this was going to be my victory. Correct. Chance. My victory chance. And Player three? I'm the victory Which chump because I'm not, I don't have a victory. A I'm going to lose. Clip. I don't even care anymore. I don't even fucking care. Nothing matters, okay? Precisely. I guess what I'll say, I'll guess what I'll say is, you know, and I'll, I'll admit my part in this, sure, but, but we should all feel very ashamed for what we did to that woman for, you know, do, I don't even know what she did, steal a shoe? I don't even fucking know. Do you know? No, nobody knows. They know that she fucking stole something, but who cares, you know? It might have been a loaf of bread to fucking feed the four poor children in Agrabah. It, it, it could have been for noble reasons as far as you know. Either way, it's not a big fucking deal, all right? Doing all this shit with, like, Correct. fucking P. Diddy and whatnot. It's like, well, she wasn't doing anything like that, right? Player three. Which category would you like? He's still making hit songs and whatnot. Why does she not get to be in movies? I know this was a long time ago, but still. It stymied her career quite a bit, I think. And I just, I just think it behooves right. me to say that we should all be taking the task and t for, for freaking stymieing anyone own writer in any way. We should all be doing whatever we can to make Winona Ryder's life better. That's right. Arm and ha Army Hammer? Player Talk two. about people who should be it's freaking canceled, right? A category. Okay. 
That's one of those things I yes, think was like, correct. seemed like it was like, oh my God, there's like so much, there's so much here. It's like, what's going on? Is there some sort of like secret like? cannibal cult going on in the army family or something? But like, it is fucking freaky and weird and whatnot. But at, at the end of the day, there's not really much more to say about it than an article. I remember there was like a couple of documentaries and whatnot that came out after that. And, and me and my That's parents right. tried to watch one of them and it was just like, I don't think there's enough here for a documentary. I feel like we're just sort of, sort of saying the same things over and over again. Or, or, you know, what passes for journalism today in a lot of other instances too, just sort of looking at someone's social media stuff and kind of, you know, turning it into, into some kind of exactly. narrative structure, but it's not very satisfying or, or substantial if you ask me a, a lot of the time. I'm just saying that the story wasn't as substantial as, as we thought. Now, and now no one thinks about it. Well, I'm going to bet everything because this is the worst I've ever done at this game. And I don't even know if I want to live anymore. Congressman John Lewis created a graphic novel history of civil rights with this one word title, a verb in the news again in 2017. I have no idea. March? Ugh. That's right. Sure. That's 2017 is like a million fucking years ago to me, all right? I came back from That's the right. dead since then, okay? I don't fucking I don't fucking know what fucking happened in 2017. Here are the final placements. Well, this was kind of whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I don't feel like I had as much fun as I did as I did yesterday with this. So. You have unlocked a new I don't know. I don't know what happens next. I'll be doing something. I just don't know if it's this. But whenever I do do that. I don't expect anyone to join me then, but I sincerely hope you do. And I'll be trying like hell to convince you that you should. But until then, I've been Uncle Game Boy. And these have been my games. Bye!